Hello, welcome back to Why in the Morning on Woman Crush Wednesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. We, uh, we'll get into the discussion of the day. So head on to our Facebook page. We have a question there. So we have no Lisa. So say ni mnajua quick and safe ways mse anezo moka haraka haraka wa say it. Watu anta kuomoka. So mnajua tips zenye tuneza tumia ndio tuomoke ya yeah? so mnajua quick and safe ways mseaneza omoka haraka haraka right hmm. in studio i am joined by a couple of our guests so i'll let them introduce themselves from from uh, my closest right hi guys my name is mark mugo all right um, I'm an actor, I'm a content creator, and I'm also a mental health advocate, and right. I'm glad to be here. Thank you very much, Mark. Hi, guys. My name is Jackie mm -hmm. Luile. I'm a postgraduate student at Kenyatta University, and uh, I'm also a writer, and I'm a poet. All right. Hi, guys. My name is Florence Mwange. Florence is a mother. I'm a director and founder of destiny rescue center whereby we deal with teenage girls and children in need of care and protection mm -hmm. yes all right so guys welcome and this is a story story. yeah so, so <laughs> first of all everyone wants the soft life and everyone wants to be lavishly and especially now when you look at our social media handles yeah, So you look at the, the people who probably saw my now, you know, and then you just look at, also you compare ages to be like, I, I am 20 something and she's or he's 20 something, you know. No, 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 kumoka lazima. So, this issue ya kutaka kumoka, especially for the young people. You know, we have kumoka hivi arakana. Before that, we have tips za kumoka very quickly. Araka, araka, na ensure that. You are so sick. So, why, why do you feel the need? This is an interesting discussion because, as you two, to not talk Kuomoka because life as a young person in this country, in this continent, in this world, it's very hard. I mean, to be honest, as in, what can I say? It's, it's really hard when you don't have anything to sustain yourself, and it's, it's hard when you, you know, when you can't sustain yourself, you end up having so many problems within you. So, you know, everybody wants to make it, everybody wants to build their own house, buy their own car, you know. For us, it's good, I'm the only panelist who's a man, everybody, you know, you want to, you know, as men, sometimes you see guys, other guys, we are motivated so much by women, and I don't know why. So you see this person on Friday night, he's going, there are these women surrounding him, so it's, comes from all that social pressure that we all want to get it so quick and so fast that mm -hmm. we can't trust the process because we have to trust a process. It's a process and I think Florence, judging from her age, she'll tell us it's a process and none of us wants to, to trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> I right now, right now I want it. I want it. I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing Florence, or I'm seeing my friend who's made it is, and you see, we are we are an unlucky generation, should I say, because we've come with social media, mm -hmm. and in social media there is a lot of, should I say, not only pressure but a lot of lies with it. So today you wake up one morning, you see Mahmoud has taken a picture with a car, you know, with a picture he has travelled to Dubai. You don't know why I've travelled, you don't know who has taken me there, but of course I'll say I've taken myself, and mm -hmm. now you. You also, you know, I want to be where Mark Mugo is, and you know, so you'll ask me, you know, Mark, how did you get there? I'll tell you lies. So I think there's, there's, there's all that lies which have come with social media, and it has put so much pressure on us that we don't want to hear there's a process. Because mm. people our age won't tell us there's a process. From what we see, there doesn't seem to be any process. People are making it. At everyone is making it. Everyone is making it. Media. So what process do I need to go through when everyone is making it? What is this process you're telling me? Okay, Jackie, do you want to go to the house? Do you want to go to the house? Um, of course, not kumo karaka raka, but you know it's quite hard. Mm -hmm. You know kumo karaka. This success is a process. You know, very many people define success differently, and um, but one thing I know is that all these successful people have things in common. Okay, but uh, looking at success from the quicker and safe, you know, 
perspective is it's quite complex. Mm -hmm. I mean, for success to be safe, most of the time, haikwangi quick. You see, you have to wake up and be consistent with what you're doing. Alafu later utakuwa successful. And then tena ukiona success yenye ni quick, unapata si safe most of the time. Yeah, but we cannot dispute the fact that uh, there is quick and safe success, you know, because there are youths who are successful, you see. Mm -hmm. There are youths who are success successful. Let's say lack inheritance. Mm. Yeah, those people don't need to toil. But if you need to work hard, then I think it's, it takes time. All right. Yeah. So Florence, yeah. so we come more kaya to being successful in life. Eh? Mm -hmm. So so I come to like most of the young people when to come more being successful in life just very fast and especially badu to nangale loop and they work safe. So in, from where you're seated and from where you're coming from, uh, Florence, how possible is it? I will say it's not possible, and I will start by saying this: we all know that Rome was not built in one day. So if it was not built in one day, there was a process. Number one, the youth want to yokuomo kayaraka, and they don't even know themselves. They don't know what they want in life. They want to live a life like they want to imitate somebody's life. But if you really know what you want, you need to know that there is a process. I'll, I'm going to use a very practical example as a mother. If you want to have a child, you will not have a child haraka. You have to wait for nine months. Whether you like it or not, whether you ataka ma udata kani ni iyo miyeziti salazima ipite diomtoto aitike nani aitike mtoto. So what the youth do not understand or what they don't want, they don't want the process. Because number one, let me use this end with a lot of humility. They are lazy. They don't want to work. Na hakuna kitu kizuri kina tokanga ati unakuta on a silver platter. Hakuna. But then as a matter yu inakuja, you have to really think, how do I stretch my hand and get it? So there's still work you need to do. So what this, uh, our young generation is looking for, I call it microwave issues, things. Yani ni button inakuja. Na hiyo ni ndoto. Teki ndawambia wazi, hiyo ni ndoto. Hakuna kitu yenye inaitua, ili ata chakula ukiweka kwa microwave, unawacha kwanza ispindo ipate nini? Ipate moto. So, it is, they need to sit down and know, unless they work hard. Unless they work hard. Hii vitu wanataka kuomoka haraka, ndiu inawaingiza kwa mashida. Kwa sababu kuna zile za kuomoka haraka, hapo mbesema tunaenda, lakini kama unataka kuomoka in the right way, you have to be ready to work. You have to be ready to sacrifice. You have to be intentional in what you want. You have to really know who you are, what you want, and where you're going. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, utaishingi tu apa kama vile uh, nani amesema utaishingi tu kuangalia watu kwa makagari za wenyewe, unaona mtu na dem na ni kazi ni yake. Unajua hatu wajui. Mm -hmm. Yaani we unaona unaona hiyo maisha ndio unataka lakini haina haina anything. And then I will say this. Success that I have made and journeyed has a lot of fulfillment and pride. Mm -hmm. Actually, yata inheritance, haina iyo, ini ya baba yangu. Kwa hivyo ilikuwa ya mwenye, mimi nataka mtu mwenye kwa focus, anataka kitu yake. Na sisemi musichukue inheritance, iyo ni baraka. Lakini yata kwa iyo inheritance, usitabani kukaa hapo. Because we are seeing many people are inheriting their parents' properties, they start killing each other. Reason being, they don't even know what they want. Hawajawa ifanya kazi ngumu. Mm -hmm. Wale watoto tunadil nao squeezy, ni wale hata kuosha kikombe ni shida. Kwa sababu tuliwandikia wafanyi kazi, kila kitu by the way, tumewawekea hapo. Mm -hmm. Lakini kuna wale wanawafanyi kazi, but they still want to wash that cup. They want to have that experience. So I think even us, who are now uh, at a place whereby we are mentoring these youths, we need also to let them work for themselves. E, ukitaka kubadilisha diet kwa wangu, nafikiri tuta, tuta debate, utaleta. Unataka kula mayai? Leta. Mm -hmm. Sasa kama hauleti mayai, wacha tukule, ndiyo tuende na hiyo process ya tupate hiyo mayai. Lakini si hile ya, ni hile kitu mtoto wanataka unampatia. Somehow I blame us as parents. Because we've actually not taught these children. We are giving them, I hear people saying, I cannot bring my children the way I'm bringing, I was brought up. Yeah, you want I wish I could. What if, if the parent wants something better for, for You them? can still give something better, mm. 
and still make this child learn from it. It doesn't mean that kwa sababu mimi nililela wana kiboko, ni lazima nichape mtoto wangu ndiyo waelewe. Kuna vile naweza kuwa kumu, kumpeleka, lakini sita mchapa, lakini nita achieve what I want. Mm -hmm. But it has to be from the word go. Okay. It has to be from the word go. Yeah. Because our our children are messing because iyo ya kwanza iyo jina kuomoka. Mm -hmm. Unajua mi sikuwa najua ni nini? <laughs> Nikuwa nasikia kuomoka. <laughs> Nafikiria tunaenda kumomoka. <laughs> Kumbe ni kuwanda kupata nini? Ni Being kupata. successful. Yeah. Yes. And there is no success without hard work. Okay. There is. No, let me give you a very simple example. If you want to sleep. Lazi, una unataka kulala comfortably. Lazima ulale kwa kitanda. Na ujifunike. Sasa ukika hapo ukute ungoje ufunikwe, si utakuliwa na umbu, ukiliwa mm -hmm. na baridi hutalala. Mm -hmm. So hard work, hard work, hard work. Okay, thank you Flores. So do you think like, uh, going back to you Mark, do you feel like as youth we are so much entitled? Like we feel like I want something and uh, I should have it. Do you feel like we are so much entitled? Mm, not necessarily, and in fact... And we've been labelled lazy, by the way. We've been labelled lazy. In fact, <laughs> I wanted to disagree. It's just that I wanted her to finish. <laughs> and me, what I can say, mm -hmm. and it's good you've brought somebody more or less of her I, generation exactly. over here, because it helps. Because sometimes I feel there's a lot of misunderstanding between our generation and their generation, because when they say we are lazy, the youth are not lazy. I mean, if you watch... I mean, the youth are not really lazy. I, I cannot label any young person as a lazy person. And I think... One thing, because I have parents from her generation, and one thing where sometimes we may disagree on things is that, like when my, my parents were 20s, when, when my dad was like 20, the system, when I say the system, the government really catered a lot for them in that when he was 20, his good grades got him a job and the government was able to train him. He never had to look for a job again, as in there was a lot of, there was a bit more meritocracy in how you are rewarded. But these days, young people, if we talk of unemployment right now, how many, how many people go to campus and are still unemployed? Mm -hmm. The system doesn't cater for that. It's, so, it's more or less, and me and you, we both know that we've seen so many times that the people who get jobs are the ones with what we call godfathers, people who have people to... You need to, link. to know someone. You need to know somebody. Uh, you know, you need to know somebody in a high place. So, and you see now what happens is that me who doesn't know somebody, for example, and doesn't have a job, I'll be labeled lazy. The one who's probably, let me use the term, la lazy, for example, but is able to get a job because of the godfather, won't be looked at in the same way. So I think there's a bit of a misunderstanding between generations in that within, when they, they were our age, the, the system really catered a lot for them and maybe for our generation the system has left the job to family parents and all and be, you know sometimes there's a bit of a misunderstanding i don't think we are lazy or in, or in, maybe some are entitled i don't know but i don't think it's good to generalize all of us all right so jackie for you well growing up and uh, did you did you experience the aspect of uh, you know like feeling entitled towards anything in your life or do you have you seen people who are entitled feeling like they're entitled towards anything they want in life yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I've seen them, and most of the time, these people don't really make it in life. Yeah, they don't, because you really need to work. You see, if you inherit something, or if if you feel like you're entitled to something, you become lazy. You know that something is at your disposal, and you're not going to put any extra effort to make whatever it is better. You see, so youths should just work hard. If you don't work hard, there is nothing that will come your way. And there is no success that is quick. I mean, what do you even mean by quick? I mean, <laughs> for how long? Name, time, gani, sasa. I think it can come on in next week or next month, it's OK. Next, we have to, yeah, next uh, month, quick no, as that. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's next to impossible. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, uh, some of the common things that successful people do is, uh, in as much as people define success differently, some of the common things that successful people do is add value to others or to something else. You see, if you wake up with the purpose of adding value to someone or something, automatically you're going to help yourself. Like, let's say, if you realize that um, the people around you need food, right? And then you come up with something that will make them get food, like 
plant crops or something you see you're adding value to them and you're also helping yourself and in the long run you're gonna be successful so if you purpose to you know add value to something even these things that you feel that you're entitled to okay. you're going to be successful okay. but if you just sit there and you know tell yourself i have inheritance mm. my parents have these my future is sorted my, yeah you will languish in poverty.